Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. In the previous part of the Panda3D series, we wrote a basic Panda3D app. Here's the test.py file again with the code, and we use this run Python file and terminal button to run it. So let's do it again. And here we have the app window, and here's the terminal. I also mentioned it wasn't the only way to run your app. So let's see how we can run a Panda3D or any app in Visual Studio Code. So, the first way is by using this button, we already know that. Then we have the Run Panda 3D app without debugging option in the Run menu. So, we can go to the Run menu and choose this option over here, Run without debugging. And here it is. Now, another option is to use, here in the Run menu, the first option, Start Debugging, and then we have to choose a debug configuration. So, go ahead and select the first option, Python file. And now, we run the program in debug mode. Fine. Then we have hotkeys. We can run our app using hotkeys. So, for the previous two options, you can use hotkeys. So, for example, for this option, start debugging, we have the hotkey F5, so feel free to try it out and choose this first configuration. Okay, and for running without debugging, you can use Ctrl plus F5. So Ctrl plus F5, and here it goes. Then we have the context menu, so we can right-click anywhere in the editor tab where our code is and select Run Python file in terminal. And here's our app window. That's it for today. You know what a basic Panda 3D app looks like and how to run it. In the next part, we'll learn how to configure our project. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.